Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, it's Thursday, April 19th, 2012. Uh, I, you know, I just realized it's been a while. It's since I've done a video like this. It's since my last, like, actual vlog. I think it was the last one I did, I think it was like the 9th or the 10th. So, the 10th. Ugh. Lisping. Anyway. So, yeah, it just hasn't been anything interesting to talk about or anything going on or just usual kind of stuff. So, you know, I've had plenty of videos, you know, in between various reviews and whatnot. And uh, I just filmed right before doing this video, I just filmed uh, two new figure reviews. Uh, so they'll be coming soon. Um, let's see what else. So, yeah, so this video I had, you can probably get an idea of, based on the title, what, what I'm going to be talking about. You know, I wanted to try and, with these, with these vlogs, to talk about other things besides Star Wars. Could be, because, obviously, I'm big into Star Wars, and, you know, this is why you're on my channel, or probably the reason why. Uh... Obviously, I, I do the, the reviews, and there's a lot of talk about Star Wars there. So, you know, so I wanted to talk about, try and talk about different things, but there just hasn't been anything else. But this came to my to mind to, to do, uh, last week I was re-watching the Star Wars Blu-rays, and I was watching Return of the Jedi. And it made, my, made me think about how... Personally, Return of the Jedi is my favorite of all the Star Wars films, and I. So this has been so. This is sort of an endless debate, I guess, amongst fans, and I, I think the consensus is that The Empire Strikes Back is certainly the best of the original trilogy, and there are probably many that would say the best of all six films. I don't know. Uh, but I, but for this video, I'm just talking about the the original three films. Now, Empire, I will say, it is the best. I think it's the best Star Wars film. It is the best of the original, the original uh, trilogy. But for me, Return of the Jedi is a just a personal favorite. And I may have talked told this story before. I'm not sure. Maybe bits and pieces. So, if you've heard me talk about this before, I apologize, I'm repeating myself. But anyway, many of you maybe haven't heard this story. So, I just I just thought about it while I was watching Jedi, and I thought I'd share this story with those. always thought of it as kind of neat. So. so, I remember summer of 1983, and I saw A New Hope and Empire... I didn't see them in the in the theater. I saw them later on on TV and and uh, videotape. In fact, I think I saw Empire first and then saw A New Hope. I just it's just the way it worked out that way. It's weird. Uh, I definitely you know I definitely enjoyed them. And me back then being like eight years old or yeah, I didn't. I think the idea of a movie trilogy didn't. Recognize, I didn't, uh, in my mind, I don't think, I didn't realize. So I remember when I saw Empire, for whatever reason, it didn't occur to me that there was another movie coming out. I didn't, you know, it's not like now where we know everything is built around a franchise. And, the, you know, going in, okay, we're going to do this movie, and then there's going to be three of them at least, and blah, 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 and so on. And that's, that's the way the movies are and back th back then there weren't it's again it's not like now where especially during the summer mo movie months you have you get two or three movies coming out each weekend and it seems every week or every other week you know a big movie coming out you know you just didn't have that back then it's just not the way it's just not the way it was so so I remember being excited for for Jedi you know, because I was going to be able to see it in the theater. It was just a little 
young with the first two films. So, so I remember being excited, and I, you know, I've been getting some of the figures, and I remember I was in a store or something. I was looking through a magazine. I don't remember what it was, but I was thumbing through, and there was an ad for the new Star Wars figures, and I think you had like the Luke Jedi and the Skiff Guard Lando. I think was in this ad. I remember seeing all these, and wondering what is this movie going to be about with these like. Because here's the characters, but they're all in like sort of weird disguise. I think the Bush Leia was in there as well. And I was just wondering, what is this movie going to be like based, in, based on these figures? Like, why are they in these strange costumes and whatnot? Just, well, I just remember being very excited. And now, Jedi came out in May. May 25th, 2000. Or 2000. May 25th, 1983. Uh, exactly six years after the original film. Now, we have this vacation house in Pennsylvania. And we always go up there. We would always go up during the July 4th week. And there's a big, it's about an hour or so away, a big mall that have that had a, a big movie theater. I think there was like six, six or seven theaters you know, in this one theater had six or seven movies that they showed. And we always took at least one day of the week we would take the trek, we'd go up to this mall and we'd go to there's usually some big movie that we wanted to see. And I remember my wanting to see Jedi as soon as it came out. And and my dad was like, No, wait, wait for when we go up in July, so you'll have something to see. I was like, He made me wait. And this was like torch. I was dying, but you know nothing I could do about it. He was like, "Wait, it'll be. You know, we'll see it then." And he made me wait. And I'm like, "If it's not playing, then if I miss this movie, I was like really upset. I was like agonizing. You know, I wanted to see this. Like, don't worry, it'll be there. It'll be there. And you're talking six weeks, somewhere in there, six seven weeks between when the movie came out and and the July Fourth week. Um. Now, there's no way it would be there in the theater six weeks later. Uh, but, again, back then, movies stayed in theaters for months and months. Because, you know, there wasn't anything else coming out. Uh, but anyway, so I remember, so, wait, so now it's July 4th week, and we're up in Pennsylvania with my parents and my brother and, and my uncle. And we, we go out to the mall. And my mom didn't want to see any movies. She just wanted to go shopping in the mall. So, so he had the four of us. And my brother and my dad and my uncle all wanted to see Jaws 3D. You know, here it is, the year of Star Wars in 3D. Back then, Jaws 3D. Like, ooh, they wanted to see that. And if you've ever seen that movie... It's so bad. It's it's really bad. The effects are terrible. It's just... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, you don't need to see it. So they all want to see that. I want to see Return of the Jedi. It's like, finally I'm going to get to see it. And again, my dad's like... He's trying to get me... Mark, you know, you're the only one who wants to see the Star Wars movie. You know, we could see that another time. Why don't you come with us? That way we could all be together as a family see this movie as a family. I'm like, no, I don't want to see no movie about a shark. I don't care. Uh, I don't know if I've seen the original Jaws at that point. I don't know. But uh, that's another one of my all-time favorites. But at that point, I had no I didn't care. I wanted to see Return of the Jedi. There was no way he was... And I was too young to go by myself. Somebody had to go with me. Uh... There was, but there was no way that he was going to convince me to go with him. No way. So my brother and uncle went to see Jaws. My dad came with me to see Jedi. And and it comes on, and here it is. And to to see a Star Wars film in the theater for the first time, it was just like the music hissing, just boom, and the big ship, the Star Destroyer comes up. You see Darth Vader land and like eight years old, you know, I'm like, just 
like, oh. you know, and the whole the whole thing. It's just, you know, the shuttle lands on the second Death Star and the ramp comes out in the air. You got Darth Vader, you know, with the helmet and the cape and, you know, the breathing. Now the whole thing, I'm like, oh. I'm just like in heaven at this point. I'm like, oh. To see it on the big screen. I'd seen the first two. And, and even my dad at that point, and this is, and that's very early into the film. He's even kind of, he's even, he's into it already. He's like, there he is, Mark. It's Darth Vader, and he's pointing to the screen. He's like, I know. Uh, so I was just, I, you know, I just loved it. And from beginning to end, you know, you had, you know, Jabba the Hutt and the whole skiff battle with, with Luke and the Rancor monster and and all that stuff. And uh, then I remember uh, Luke gets his lightsaber from from R two. I remember he tur- he turns it on, and it's green. It's a green blade now. And for some that like, I was like, whoa! You know, we'd only seen red and blue, and for that, I got so excited over a green light. I don't know why, but it just got me excited. So, um, God, eleven minutes already. Sheesh. So I, but I just, I just loved it, and I love the Ewoks. I know there's Ewok haters, but you know, eight years old, I loved them. Little furry teddy bears taking down the Empire. I don't know. And the speeder bike chase and the whole lights are about at the end and all that stuff. I just loved it. And it was just... It just became... You know, my dad was... Even though he didn't really want to go, he was getting into it with me. And and then I remember coming out so excited and there my my brother and uncle they're waiting for us because Jedi was a lot longer than than Jaws and first thing they're like Mark we should have went with you because that was terrible speaking of Jaws 3D because again like I said terrible good lord um and but I just remember the I the fact that my dad was sitting next to me and it was just it become it's become one of my favorite favorite childhood memories. It's probably it's one of the big reasons why it just stuck with me. And you know, why Star Wars is be, I've become you know continuously year after year just still a Star Wars fan. You know, look at what I'm doing now, with the reviews and collecting all this stuff. So it's just it's just one of my favorite memories and. So for that reason, uh, Return of the Jedi is is just uh, my favorite. If I was going to pick a favorite, it's it's that movie for that reason. That personal memory of mine. Uh, so that's why I would I would say Jedi is better than Empire, just because of that. You know, is Empire a better movie? I think yes, and I'm, I know I'm probably sending mixed signals like, well, but for if I was going to pick one Star Wars film, I would have to pick Return of the Jedi because of that. It's just that it's just that personal memory. I mean, it's just childhood memory that's stuck with me all these years. So yeah, so there it is. There's my little story. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed listening to this. Um, I just thought it was interesting. I thought maybe you guys would get a kick out of it. So, yeah, there you have it. So, and it's, it's getting long now, so we're going to wrap this up. And so, until my next video, I'll see you. Bye.